All right, welcome back to the Callabot Chronicles. It's been a little while, but uh, we're back and uh, we're ready to keep keep this uh, continue on with this mission. All right, landing in a new spot. Skip the animation of opening the ship. Go ahead and hit F1. All right, so instruction: a word on new policies. Uh oh. We are sorry to have to bring this to your attention, but it seems like a good time to let you in on a little concern we're having at the moment. There has been a strong reaction in the public opinion and in Congress concerning your systematic termination of the indigenous hab inhabitants of the planets you've been visiting. Because, you know, it's not like they haven't been trying to kill us or something. Uh, Congress has chosen to demonstrate its sensitivity to the concerns of, your ge of the general population. We hereby relay their new directives and these new direct directives intimate intimate that's obviously the wrong word uh, for you to limit the casualties as much as humanly possible in other words do your be very best to spare the life forms you encounter from now on your mission should of course in no way find itself jeopardized by this new course of action with the ex exception of this mission which obviously we're not going to get to shoot any any bugs. Alright. Your energy resources appear dangerously limited at this time, and so is your arsenal. But you need to locate and retrieve the previous mission expedition's black box so you can proceed to the next planet. We received a piece of information from your predecessors via the observation satellite regarding a new type of weaponry they have developed precisely for predict predicament such as this one. I can't read today, apparently. Um... So, yeah, the bots developed some new technology that the people were not able to. Uh, that's great. This weapon will offer you an opportunity to demonstrate your newfound compassion towards indigenous species. Yeah, I've got a lot of compassion towards them. Um, for it is not a weapon of mass destruction. Aw, what it offers instead, to the best of our knowledge is an option to incapacitate them, rendering them, if only temporarily, harmless. If this is indeed the case, you'll need to act quickly before they are given a chance to become hostile to you again. Perform the research program and experiment for yourself, but don't forget to bring this new weapon back on board. We're very curious to study its working. Why don't you just upload the research program that I'm going to be using? Because that would make sense. All right. Yeah, details. All right. On with it. All right, so what do we have? We've got a winged grabber. We've got some power cells. Uh, oh, forgot to check the uh, satellite report. All right, so what do we got? We got some titanium ore, no uranium ore, nothing in the subsoil. We've got giant ants and uh, derelicts of no particular use, which is not entirely true because if we look over here... There's a uh, wreck here, and hey, a titanium cube. Awesome. Now, if we go over here, take a look. You can see down there, there's a, a uh, wreck of a spaceship. Probably a good candidate for finding a black box, wouldn't you say? Don't see the black box, though, so let's fly over. And the ants are shooting straight up at me. That's fun. They all managed to miss me, though. And if we take a look... And what do we got? Black box. That's right. It's right down there. Black box. So, what we'll need to do... Is get that black box without killing the ants. Not the easiest task, I suppose. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and position my astronaut right here. And, uh, alright. We're going to do something a little new, a little different. Something exciting, you might wonder. Something interesting? Well, maybe. Um, not particularly exciting. Uh, we're going to start up a new mission-specific program for this. We're going to call it 
uh, passive mission. Ah, let's just call it Thumper Mission. Thumper Mission. Because as you sh will soon see, we're going to get a bot called a Thumper. So we're going to start with some subroutines here. Void. Uh, no. Fail. Go. Uh, point. P. So we're going to have a, a go-to. We're going to set it to air mode. Zero. That prevents it from just exiting the program if there's a problem. We're going to say a while. Go-to. P. Is not equal to zero, which means... If it's not equal to zero, if the result of the, of the go to command is not zero, that means there was an error. We're just going to try it again. Go to. Actually, let's uh, do wait one. And basically, we'll try it again. And at the end, hopefully, it'll exit out of that at some point. And we set it to error mode. One. Okay, we're going to make a couple more. Void, no, fail, grab. No parameters on this one. We're not uh, inputting anything. This is our point. This is our position that we're going to go to. This one, we're just going to grab. Um, I don't know if we need to do the error mode on this, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Error mode, zero, and error mode, one. All right, so what we want to do is we're going to try a grab first. Grab. And then we're going to say while. And we need to put in parentheses for a while, just like up above. Uh, while load, which is our payload, uh, equals no, which means we didn't grab anything. We've got, we're not carrying any payload. And then we're going to loop. And we're going to just try it again. Grab zero. Or just grab actually is good. All right. So we're going to just copy this code and make a couple changes to it. No fail drop. We're going to drop instead of grab. And we're going to drop here instead of grab. Oops. Drop. We're going to change this to not equals. Because if we are still carrying something, we need to try dropping again. And one more thing. We're going to say no fail go space space uh, command or function returns a position. I'm going to do the brackets so I don't mess them up. Um, it's going to return a basically an empty or uh, go toable position. Okay. No fail go space. Uh, position. Which is our current position. Our min will be, we're going to make it 1, 2, uh, let's make it 10, and distance. So that's like the size of the flat area, flat unoccupied area that we want to look for. And one is the minimum distance from where we're at, so it'll try to put it somewhere else. Ten is the maximum. And then it's going to try to drop it again. All right, so that's our command. Uh, let's go ahead and hit OK.